In the previous video, we saw how to use the multi time frame trend indicator in a day trading environment. We saw uh, the chart as a one minute chart, and then we had set up the other four time frames as five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and 30 minutes. Now we are looking at a slightly longer time frame. So let's say you want to be in a trade for about maybe a few days to a couple of weeks or so and get out of the trade. You want to catch the swing lows and the swing highs. So what you would do, first of all, you would put a daily chart as the lowest row. And that is the time frame of the chart itself. And here you can see I have configured the other time frames to be two days, three days, four days and one week. And let me show you where these configurations are saved. So if you edit the studies and you'll see the multi time frame trend, once you have this indicator installed on your platform, then you can come here and you can set up these days or minutes, whatever it is, you set up all the configurations right here. And to keep things easy, what I've done is I have a intraday, which is what we saw the last time. It's a one minute chart and I have a daily, which is what we are looking at right now. And then I have a longer term as well, which is going to look at a three day, one week, month and a quarter. And so if you wanted to be a buy and hold investor, this is the chart you would be looking at. But first, let's go ahead and look at the sort of medium term, which is a few days to maybe a couple of weeks, maybe a month if the trade is going on. So here we are. And if you take a look at the SPX, uh, over a period of, of the last, uh, I mean, it's a one year daily chart and we can zoom in or, or zoom out as we please. And you can see that previously there was some bearish over here around uh, September of last year. Then in the middle of uh, October, it turned uh, bullish and in general, it was bullish for some time. And then where you see a nice run is somewhere here, which is uh, after the new year and you could have gone somewhere till here. And then also you have this one, which is a nice run over here, which started uh, on March 21st and went up till about uh, April 19th. So let's zoom in on this section right here and see what we, are, we can find out here. You can see the master level indicator lights up over here. And so even if you take the trade over here, it's OK. It is still all the master level is, uh, is, uh, is lit up. Now, you just because you see one dot, especially on the lowest uh, row, you don't need to come out of the trade. So uh, you're just hanging in there and then the move starts to happen and you are in this trade all the way till here, which is right there. You see three red dots on the multi time frame trend. So let's back up here. If you got into the trade at this bar right here, so which is about 4001 on the S&P, and you rode it all the way till here, that is 4,131. So that's 130 points on the S&P, which is, which would be a whole 10 points on the spider. And you can imagine if you were using options with leverage, what kind of a trade that would have been. But even if you're not, if you're just trading the stock, which is the spider, you can see that this is the kind of uh, move that would have happened. Let's take a look at some of the other ones. Here we see on the swing trading column that USO is bullish. And of course, that's the bullish sign that's coming in from here. Uh, it is bullish over the last uh, one, one and a half months. Uh, that's the only thing that's showing as bullish. Now, there are some several bearish candidates here. You can see Shopify. Yes, as soon as uh, it goes uh, down, you'll see the red uh, master level indicators uh, light up. But when the overall market is bullish, you generally don't want to take a bearish trade. So you have to keep that in mind. So you want to look for bullish stocks. And uh, depending on how big your watch list is, you're sure to find something that is aligned with the overall market. So this is how you would look at a swing trade, which would last from a few uh, days to maybe two or three weeks. Now, let's take a look at the slightly longer term chart. The configurations are set as three days, one week, one month and one quarter. So when you see the master level indicator here, it's telling you that it's aligned over one day, three days one week, one month and one quarter. So that's very strong. So once again, here, if you see Goldman Sachs, if you caught it right there, uh, you would have been you would have, you would still be in this trade. You would still be in this trade. Let's take a look at some other examples. Apple shows bearish and uh, sure enough, you can see all these red dots have started to come in. Apple was bullish here. Well, you had a fantastic run over here. You had another very good run over here. But uh, right now, the short term 
uh, indication is that it is bearish and so you want to wait for those things to turn around. Let's take another uh, couple of examples. PayPal, clearly it's bearish after the earnings report over there. And um, let's take a look at uh, CRM. Uh, CRM has also been, uh, been bearish over the last uh, couple of weeks or so. Let's take a look at Tesla and it's been bearish. So you want to wait for some of these to turn around because the market in general right now today at least is in a bullish sentiment. So you want to trade bullish uh, trades. So like for example on Tesla if you had caught it over here uh, and that would have been a very nice trade. Now you don't know it's going to go for a couple of months but what it's telling you is visually if you see two, two dots or three dots you come out of the trade and so it's a no-brainer in terms of trying to exit. So this is how the multi time frame trend indicator can work for day trading environments, swing trading environments as well as long term trading or long term investing environments. Now what we haven't seen is the custom RSI. Now this is a also a key indicator and this is going to tell you the next step which is when do you exit the trade and that's what we're going to be looking at in the next video. We'll look at the custom RSI and how it works for day trading, swing trading as well as long term investing uh, timeframes. So we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.